Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson from the girl that's just like next door. Today I want to speak to you about, more like give you an example of mirror work. I get so many messages about mirror work that I decided today that I'm going to give you a one time only example of what mirror work is supposed to look like. So I want you to watch this short video all the way to the end so that you can practice and master mirror work for yourself. Now, I've always told people that mirror work is basically to release what's ever inside of you that's holding you back. Whatever that's, whatever that's inside of you that could be causing a blockage. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I want to use mirror work to manifest money and all this other stuff. Listen, it may have worked for me and a whole lot of other people, but maybe your blockage is a blockage that's getting you further along your career, further, you, uh, further along in your relationships, Mirror work can open the door to so many other things besides money. And I just want to let you guys know that before I go further. But I'm telling you, by practicing mirror work, you will see such a big, big change in your life that I'm asking you to watch this video all the way to the end. So people say, Yvette, what am I supposed to be doing in front of the mirror? What am I supposed to be doing? And I tell them, I said, listen, just let it out. Just talk to God. Just talk to the God that's inside of you, which is really you. And my thing is we are so caught up in trying to please other people that we forget about ourselves. So now, what I'm asking you to do, if you watch my other videos, I spoke to you about going to the mirror, saying I love you. And if you cannot say I love you to yourself, then start off saying I am growing to love you more and more every day. Because that's more realistic sometimes if you're having a real hard problem in learning to love yourself. So now, you're going to get up every single morning. And let me tell you this. Some people say, I'm going to practice mirror work for the next seven days, the next 21 days. I'm looking like mirror work is a lifetime. You can put all your effort into making a business, going to work, put an effort into your children, effort into your friends, but you can't take two minutes for yourself. That's all it takes, two minutes. This is a lifelong thing that you should always be doing because you come first. Always you come first. Now, the steps are is that you're going to say, I love you. And you're going to repeat that maybe a couple of days. Then you're going to talk to yourself and say, I'm loving you more and more. And then you're going to say that for a couple of days. Then you're going to say, I forgive you for anything that you I have done. I forgive me for anything that I have done because I love me. I did the best that I could at that moment. Then you're going to say, I release any fear from myself. And I release any regret, any hurt, any hatred that I have for anyone out there because I know whatever I'm throwing out, I'm going to get back and I'm just hurting myself and I love myself. You're going to say, I forgive all those that have hurt me and I ask for forgiveness from them for anything that I have done. You're going to keep repeating this. And saying, I love you. Because I love you, I am worthy of everything that there is that is mine. As you keep repeating these things to yourself, talking to yourself in the mirror, 
you then will start seeing doors open for you. Things that you felt like was blocking you from getting further, you would then start noticing that these things are now opening up for you. Now, it might come in the form of money. It might come in the form of better relationships. It might come in the form of new opportunities, but things will start to turn around for you. So let me just show you this example of mirror work. So now, let's just say you just woke up in the morning and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do in the morning when I practice my mirror work. Good morning, Yvette. Good morning. I just love you. Good morning. The first person I want to say hello to in the morning is you. I want to say good morning. I love you. I love you. I love you. If you're having a problem of saying I love you, then you might will start with, Yvette, I am growing more and more to love you every day. Every day that goes by, I love you more and more and more. Even I'm asking you because you are the God within me. I'm asking you to forgive me for everything that I have done that was not right for my path. I'm asking you to forgive me for everything that I have done. And I'm asking you to ask others to forgive me if I did anything to them. I forgive them that has done anything to me. Yvette, I did the best that I could while I was out here. And I just love you. I'm growing to love you more and more and more every day. Week number two. Yvette, I love you. I just love you. I love you. I am so open and receptive for everything that you have for us. I'm open and receptive to remove any blockages that's in our lives. For I love you. And I know that I am deserving of everything that there is. Everything that there is out there, I am deserving of it. You are deserving of it. I am deserving of it. I love you, Yvette. Yvette, I love you. Yvette, I release from us anything that I have done to hurt anyone. It's, it's a new day, new month, and new year. Everything that is I am deserving of is ours right now. I love you. I love you. And because I love you is that I know we're deserving of everything that there is. I know that you are the God that's within inside of me. And because I know you're the God that's inside of me, I know we're deserving of everything that there is. Yvette, I love you. I love you. I love you. I forgive you, Yvette. I forgive us. I forgive me. I forgive me being on the outside, you being on the inside. I forgive me for anything that I have done to hurt us. Any, any negativity that I have brought upon us, I forgive me to allow us to be able to move forward. Yvette, I love you. I love you. I love you. I ask for you to forgive me for anything that I have done. In fact, at this moment right now, I forgive myself for everything that I have done. And we move forward knowing that the God within us, you, the God that's within inside of me, that I am worthy and deserving of everything. I love you, Yvette. I love you. I love you. I love you more than anything. At this moment right now, I release any chains, any blockages that may be upon us right now. It is released. It is set up. It is released. It is released into the universe. For there is nothing stopping us from doing all that it is that we deserve. Yvette, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I really do. I love you. I love you more than anybody can ever tell you. I love you. To the rest of our lives, to the day that I die, I love you. I love you. Okay. I can't get any better than that but to tell you guys that's how you do mirror work. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson from the girl next door. Today we talked about mirror work step by step to show you guys exactly what you need to do to manifest your desires into reality. Remember people, the God that 
you serve is the God that's inside of you. If you look in that mirror and you see anything else but love, you're misguided. you truly misguided because there's nothing more than love when you look in that mirror. And there's nothing that you can manifest in this world if you don't see love in that mirror. The love in that mirror is telling you that you are deserving of everything that there is. Everything that there is that is available to you. If others have it, why not you? But you must first know that you're deserving of it and get out and take it. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you like this video, you better, you have to subscribe, like right now. Okay? Hit that bell, people. Follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com and store.myworldmetaphysics.com if you want to buy crystals and metaphysical items. I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want that, go sign up for it. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. Namaste.